gonna see me, my dad, and my brother Ethan do some white perch fishing on the river. We never hit the moon time exactly right. We got a little bit off a couple times, but we still caught up some good white perch, enough to eat. Uh, you're gonna see in this video us cleaning the, cleaning the white perch, and my dad's gonna show you how to bake white perch, and yeah, it would be pretty cool. A little catch, clean, cook. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment how we can make the videos better. All right, man. Well, let's do it for. Never mind. I take that back. Good him. Oh, get him! Get him! Get him! Out of boy. Feeding time. Oh boy! Get that. What are you? You look like a rookie. Nice. See him? Nice. Gotta grab your string. <laughs> Good enough. Like a rookie doing that one. Grab the net, buddy. Oh, never mind. Look at that, Mama Jama. That was a big in there. Jeez. About fourteen feet deep. How deep he was? 12, 11, about 14 feet. Mm -hmm. That's a giant, huh? That's a good one. Frick, man.
What up, boy? Alright, we saved some white perch to, to show you how we bake them. Uh, first thing, make sure you rinse them, clean them, make sure they're all clean. No worms or goop or anything like that. Alright, we got a normal oven pan lined with foil. Your fish is going to stick no matter what, but uh, it'll help with put a little pan on the bottom of it. Makes the clean up a little easier. Alright, there's our white perch. We're about to season them up. And I'll go air, go through everything that we're gonna uh, we're gonna use to season them here in just. All right. Some people use a drip pan. I don't use a drip pan because I like for the for the fillets to to boil in their water in their uh, in the seasoned water for a little while before uh, before I dump the water and uh, drain them and 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 crisp them up. But I'll show you that little process in a second. So uh, I use about a couple of tablespoons of butter some fresh jalapenos and hot banana peppers, black pepper, garlic powder, Tabasco, Worcestershire salt, and a little hot sauce. And I'll show you what that looks like here. All right, that's what it looks like uh, when, they're, when they're prepared, ready for the oven. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350. Uh, the, the timing on this just depends on how thick your fillets or how, how thick your fish is. Uh, with these, I'm gonna preheat to 350 and I'm going to cook them for uh, about 15 minutes. I'm going to drain the water out, then I'm going to kick the temperature up to four, probably 425, maybe 400, just depends on what they look like, and uh, cook them for about another 15 minutes. And what that's going to do is all that, that spicy juice is going to cook into the fish, and then once we kick that temperature up, we'll drain the water out, once we kick that temperature up, it's going to seal all that flavor and all that juice on the inside with a little with a little crust on the outside. So uh, I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. Okay, this is after 20 minutes at 350. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna drain all that water out. I'm gonna kick my temperature up to 425, and I'm gonna cook them for another 15 to 20 minutes to uh, uh, to, to char them. They're pretty much cooked already, but they're uh, they kind of fall apart. So. Uh, Again, I want to crisp the outside and trap that moisture in after we uh, after we drain. Okay, the liquid is drained out. Now we're gonna uh, now we're gonna kick the temp up and and scorch them a little bit. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, there they are, straight out of the oven, 425 at uh, about 20 minutes. Take some fresh lime and squeeze some fresh lime juice on top. Some people like lemon. I prefer lime, uh, lime. And let me take them out of there and put them on a plate. And I'll show you what they look like. All right, here we go. Firm on the outside, moist on the inside. Yummy, yummy. Hope y'all enjoy. Thank you. Bye bye.